Let's now see another example that might be useful, processing a CSV file. So let's say uh, you have a file like this. Okay, this is LaFi. It's a comma separated values. That's what uh, CSV stands for. So it's basically a table that has fields in it and uh, the fields are separated with commas here, you can see. And then there are rows in this table. So what you can see here is that the third column is a number. And we need to sum the numbers in, the in, the, in this column. Now we already had an example uh, summing up numbers uh, when those were the only that was the only thing in the line. So summing the numbers, it's it's easy. The question, how do we get to these numbers? So we can go and read this file line by line, and then somehow we have to extract these numbers. And um, that's the that's uh, th then we can uh, add them up. Now we can. Or we early learned how to use index, <coughs> an index, so we could search for a comma. So the problem is, of course, as you see, there's not the same location. So you saw it. You saw it, You see that uh, sometimes it's starting here, sometimes later. It depends on the size of the the previous uh, fields. But we, but sure that it's after the second, between the second and the third comma. So you could use index finding the first and then the second and then the third comma, and then you you would know the location and you could use substring then to extract the, the actual number but it's too much work for that 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 when there is actually a much better way to do that uh, using the split function the split function uh, has basically two parameters the first one is some kind of um, um, a string or actually a regular expression that we haven't learned yet but so we don't care about that part so it's a it's a string that will cut uh, it's a delimiter that will cut up the string into pieces, and the second part uh, uh, parameter of split is actually the script the string that you would like to cut. So let's see the, the the script how it works. We have a file name here, right? This is the name of the file. It's hard coded here, but um, in order to allow the the user to provide her own uh, CSV file. We check if the argv0 is uh, defined, and if it is, then we assign it to dollar file. So, in this case, you the use we have a default uh, file name, and then you, the user can override it by providing something on the on the command line. And then we have the sum opening the file or die. That's everything is as usual. Reading the file line by line. That's the same. I chomp off the new line from the from the end of the the string even though we don't really touch that but let's 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 be nice and then this is the interesting part okay this is the interesting part of the code the first row is splitting up the line according to commas now this is a bit funky but at least the syntax highlighting provides us some clue here so this is actually th there are two parameters and this is this comma is separating the two parameters the first parameter is this slash comma slash and the second parameter is the dollar line. So the slash comma slash is something that we haven't seen early uh, yet and we don't go deep too deeply in, in it but basically this is a regular expression uh, in this case actually we could put it in in uh, double quotes as well because this is also quite like a scr uh, string and here we say that wherever you find the comma in this string cut it there so the first row, as we loop over the elements, we will we'll get this string. Now we have the commas here and here and here. So the split will cut the string up into four pieces. Foo the first piece, bar, and then ten, and the fourth one is home. And it will return a list of four elements of these four values. And we assign that list to this array called add columns. So the zeros element of, co of columns will be foo. The first element, the index one, will be bar. The, th the third element, meaning index two, would be the number. So that's what we are using here. The columns in the second place, index two, which is actually the third column. And take that value, this is the number here, and add it to, this, uh, to, to sum. 
Now, if you're coming from some other languages, you would think that uh, you have somehow to need to turn the num the string ten into a number, but in Perl, it do it's, it happens automatically. So in this way, we cut up the line into pieces and then use the third piece and add the sum. And then we loop over the file, so every line we create a new add columns. So add columns at every assignment will be these four elements. And then at the end of the block every time it gets recycled. And add columns is always fresh. And that's it. That's the whole sc uh, script. And then you have dollar sum contains the sum of these all these numbers.